Hey guys, it's me Luna and welcome to another video. This video is a bit different from my regular vlog since I'll be talking throughout the entire video and sharing things like my notion template, how I take notes, study tips, and more things like that. First, I like to always make a to-do list of what I need to get done that day so that I can visualize how much time I should spend on each task. I do this on Notion since I have gone fully digital. Um, so my planner, my notes, um, everything is either on my iPad or laptop. I'll go into more detail about the other apps and how I use them, but for Notion, I have provided my template in the description box if you guys would like to use it. My template is very basic since I like to keep it simple, but I know that you can add your own things and customize it based on your own preference. So here's how my Notion actually looks like. On the left there, I have a to-do list of tasks that I want to finish in that day. And on the right, I have more long-term tasks that I might be working on over the week, over the month, um, and they're just more long-term in general. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see this calendar. Um, I did move the month since I didn't want to share any personal things, but basically I just added my deadlines, due dates, um, milestones, things like that, so that I could get a visual representation of what I need to get done. You can also turn it into a list mode, so you have a list of everything you have to get done, and you can also add categories to categorize them into. Now that is it in terms of what I use on a daily basis. But if you scroll down a bit more, I do have some personal goals and some other pages that are useful to me. So for example, I have a YouTube page and here I just keep track of video ideas as well as how far into them I am with filming or editing. And I also keep track of collaborations and any Instagram or TikTok ideas. So that's it for my template and you guys can find this in the description box if you're interested. So next what I want to talk about is the importance of ergonomics and having a comfortable setup. So as you guys can see, I have a laptop stand so that the screen of my laptop is at a good height for my eyes. I also have a comfortable chair so that I don't get back pain from sitting in it for too long. And I also have a desk clamp to ensure that there's enough lighting for my eyes. One big game changer for me was getting a standing desk. Since I'm at my desk all the time, whether I'm studying or watching a show or doing anything else, a standing desk is really helpful since it helps me stay active by allowing me to stand if I don't want to sit all the time. The standing desk that I got is from FlexiSpot and it's the E7 Pro. It has a lot of customizations that you can change by yourself and the ones that I'm showing on the screen are the add-ons that I got as well as um, the size and the color that I got. I've been using this desk for a few weeks now and it's been really, really great. It's really good quality, it has cable management in the back which I'll show you later, and it's just been a really great upgrade for me. This is what my setup looks like in the daytime. There's a little drawer on the side and here's me moving it up and down. Um, it's very smooth, there's almost no sound, and the entire desk is also very stable since my past desk would wobble whenever I was writing or typing. I also got this drawer add-on which is really helpful since I can keep my calculator or any like quick things that I need right beside me. This magnetic cover also keeps the cables organized and tucked into the middle and there's also this tray at the back that I added on to keep my chargers and things out of the way. So that's my complete setup and you guys can find the links for this table in the description box below as well. Okay, now on to how I take notes. I have two methods of doing this. The first one is writing the notes on my iPad. You can also use paper and pen, but um, I do use an iPad since it's easier for me. So what I do is I have a notebook or a folder for each class, depending on if it has extra materials such as a lab book or tutorials and things like that. And how I actually take the notes is I'll have a main heading in highlighted in the color that I picked for that course and then subheadings using a pen of that color, and everything else is just in black or gray, depending on if it's an example or just main text. And then for any other course like programming where you mostly do it in typing, I'll do it digitally using an app called Obsidian, which is what is on my screen right now. So if I click into one of the topics, as you can see, it comes with code blocks, and these code blocks have color, which just makes coding really easy since you get the visual um, color coordination 
and you can also add flowcharts by using markup text. I personally really love this app because of all its functionalities and how easy it is to use, um, so I definitely recommend checking it out, especially for any coding courses. Now onto self-care. Um, this is kind of similar to the next point I'll talk about, but um, what I mean by self-care is making sure you get enough sleep, making sure you're eating healthy, and for me, it's also really important to take care of my skin, especially if I'm wearing makeup in the day. The skincare set that I'm unboxing right now is the Clear Skin All Stars Bundle from Hey Bud. And since I've heard a ton of good things about them on social media, I really want to try their stuff out. Um, I'll be trying it soon and I'll let you guys know how it goes. This bundle comes with everything you need to get started, so even if you aren't super into skincare, this set will include everything that you need. I'll also have the link to these products in the description box. And finally, make sure to take breaks and reward yourself in healthy amounts to avoid burnout. I personally like to reward myself by going out, cooking, or eating snacks in healthy portions, which Tokyo Tree and Sakiraco are perfect for. Thank you to Tokyo Tree and Sakiraco for sponsoring this video. Both of these are monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes, where Tokyo Tree are more popular pop brands and Sakiraco are more authentic snacks. Every month they have a different theme which is really cool to receive and for example, the February box is a Valentine's themed box. The boxes also come with a little booklet inside them to tell you about what's included inside the box as well as some other historical or background information. I personally really like these boxes since you get to try all these different types of snacks um, that you normally wouldn't be able to get. They're also great to share with friends or to use as a reward or motivation for studying. My favorite in these two boxes would be the Kit Kat in the Tokyo Treat box. Um, it's just really fun to look forward to the new flavor every single month that you usually don't see in stores here. And for the Sakura Co. box, I really love the household plate that they gave us, and also the strawberry mochi as well as the white chocolate fruits were really interesting to try out. I unbox and show all the snacks that are included in the Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. subscription boxes for this month. And you guys can find my code in the description box where you can get a discount on your order. Some other things I like to do when I'm not studying include watching anime, reading books, and exploring my other hobbies that I usually don't have time to do. I had a lot more hobbies before university, so now I'm trying to make time for them so that I don't lose them. And it's definitely hard, but I believe that it's worth it in the end because doing things that I love besides school does help me not burn out and also reminds me of the joys in life. So that is pretty much it for what I want to share with you guys today. Um, I hope you guys found the video helpful, um, and let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, and I'll make sure that everything I mention can be found in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!